An attack on Saudi oil facilities on Saturday is believed to have disrupted supply of global production capacity, making the United States the only real hold of the global supply cushion via its ability to raise own output or to soften sanctions against other major oil producers. However, as a key player in the global crude oil market, Nigeria's ability to take advantage of any major conflict in the Middle East is very limited. But analysts believe all is not lost for the country and that the steady supply from Nigerian oil fields in Delta State makes the country's prospect high. But on the other hand, if the U.S. releases oil from its strategic reserves in order to balance supply, there will be no infall for Nigeria. In the meantime, countries like Nigeria and uh, some other countries that have their capacity um, will start to produce more, or at least the cut back in production, which was being contemplated before, will no longer have increase in the stock time. The U.S., even there will be increase in the in production of uh, U.S. Uh, crude and, of course, gas. The attack on Saudi oil facility will almost certainly rock the world energy market in the short term, but it also carries disturbing long-term implications. It is reported that 5.7 million barrels a day of output or some 5% of world supply had been taken offline as a result. Nigeria sells at $65 per barrel with crude oil export at 2.2 million barrels per day. The huge export number generates income, especially for the excess crude gains. One lesson for Nigeria, oil facilities including depots are vulnerable to attacks. Oil producing countries will learn from this including Nigeria is the vulnerability of oil and gas facilities as regards to terrorist attacks that can just clear off your production facility either in terms of export stamina. Currently, uh, we have been witnessing the vandalization of, uh, of our pipelines and so on. But uh, based on what happens uh, in Saudi Arabia, it could happen anywhere and which now calls for greater protection of uh, oil and gas facilities including export stamina. If supply disruptions and hence shortfalls last a lot longer, like a couple of months, there are likely to be significant gains in crude oil prices, which will be to Nigeria's benefit. Nigeria caught its forecast for its benchmark crude oil price, citing expectations that the global oil market will be oversupplied in 2020. According to the finance minister Zainab Hamid, Nigeria is producing roughly 2.3 million barrels per day of crude oil and has agreed a cap of 1.685 million barrels per day of crude oil with the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Now may be the time to produce more and balance the shortfalls. It's possible. There's no way to, if the price of oil will not, will not go up, you know. There's no way. It could be for a short while. The news report is that Saudi Arabia they might be able to repair the damage within three within three weeks, but that is a third order. Uh, let's say that they could do it between three and six weeks. While the shortfall lasts, Nigeria's government says it is not in a hurry to embark on an upward adjustment in the benchmark price of oil for the proposed 2020 budget. The proposed budget is predicated on a benchmark price of $55 per barrel, but the Saudi attack pushed oil prices to between $60 per barrel and $66 per barrel early in the week. In summary, the best case scenario for Nigeria is a minor uptick in crude oil prices. But following high level of corruption in the system, Nigerians may never feel this impact, even if it is in a short term. Roots TV Nigeria.